Okay, hi everyone. I'm back. I'm so excited to film this video. Oh my god, I really missed filming. Like, I was on a good streak and then like the holidays happened and then I died. Uh, but it's good to be back and be talking to a camera. I'm just gonna be doing like a get ready with me while I talk about some things. I made a list of things that I can talk about. Um, so let's just get into it. So I'm just gonna start with, this is the Hourglass Primer. I got a sample because I'm not trying to blow $70 on a primer that I hate. And I don't usually use primer, so this is gonna be very interesting. Okay, so let's get into the first topic. The first topic I have on my planner here. Very cute. It's, it was $20 from Marshalls. I highly recommend. Is my new lifestyle change. Oh, this primer feels amazing. And by my new lifestyle change, I mean like I've made major differences. Um, okay, bitch, we can just forehead reveal. Oh, okay, back to the, sorry, my fucking, I have like attention issues. Um, and by lifestyle change, I mean like I've made major changes to my diet and I've been going to the gym regularly. Um, which I'm so proud of myself because it's hard to do, you know, like to completely change your lifestyle. And I mean, we're going to get really real, but um, I've like dealt with eating disorders my entire life. Like ever since I could remember, I've always like hated how I look, my body. I've always starved myself um, to try to achieve, you know, like a thinner, a thinner appearance. Everybody in my family is thin. And then here I am with like this like belly that I hated and I could never get rid of so like I was always starving myself like for days upon end or like just eating fruit just then I was vegan and then was literally dying and then like I've just gone through every diet like in the book known to man uh, also this left my skin very smooth so finally like you know maturing I feel is realizing that you don't have to um you know like suppress your mm, well, how do I want to put this I feel like maturing is realizing that you don't have to really like restrict or limit yourself or go on a diet you know like there's no point in going on a diet for three months you know to reach a certain number on the scale and then like once you reach that number like you just go back to your old patterns and your old habits because that's how like you just constantly flop and you just keep going um, you just keep gaining weight and going back to the body that you don't want to have. Um, so that's why, like, I'm not doing, like, some fad bullshit. I'm, like, just completely changing my lifestyle. So, like, this isn't something that I'm getting, I'm doing for, like, a few months. This is something that I have to do and keep up with for the rest of my life, you know? Because that is, that's how you maintain your weight or your, your preferred body, you know, is by being consistent with your diet and exercise, you know, forever, not just for a small amount of time. So I've been going to the gym, my sister, I've been going with my sister and my cousin and my sister's boyfriend and like he's really knowledgeable about um, exercise. So that's been very helpful to me because for me, like I like exercise. I just need instruction, you know, um, I just don't like going to the gym and like feeling stupid. Like I don't know what I'm doing or I'm just like fucking around like you know, hurting myself, doing exercises wrong, or just, like, doing a mix of machines that makes no sense, you know, to do together. So I've been really excited and happy about that. Also, I stopped eating fast food. Um, I get, like, I treat myself once, like, once a week, you know, like, I can get, like, Wendy's or something, because also, like, this isn't just, like, a 30-day thing or, like, a 90-day thing. Like, this is going to be for the rest of my life, and realistically, like, I'm going to want McDonald's you know, here and there for the rest of my fucking life, you know, and I can't just swear off of, like, sugar or carbs. I'm definitely not cutting things out of my life because I feel like that's when you kind of spiral and, like, you know, you don't have it for so long and then once you taste it, you, like, you, like, go on a binge. Or what's that word? Oh, like, relapse. I don't know if that's only used in, like, drug contexts. Um, so that's why I'm, like, you know, I'm still having sugar. I'm still having sweets, you know, just just smaller amounts of it and just like not so much of it like I don't need to have that shit every day like yesterday with my dinner I had a healthy dinner but I had like I had like a small cup of ginger ale you know because like I want a ginger ale and I'm not gonna fucking just deprive my body of what it wants you know 
Um, okay, I've been rubbing this moisturizer, this tinted moisturizer <laughs> for like the past seven minutes. Always use this as the milk stick, um, the under eye sunshine thing. Um, yeah, so like I stopped, well, I didn't stop drinking soda, but I really just, comp um, I really just cut, like, slow down on it. Because like I said, I'm not cutting anything out. Um, and this 2022, like... My diet was literally atrocious, like so bad. I was eating out every day, fast food every day, soda every day, all the candy I wanted, all the junk I wanted. Like it was just to the point where it was like, it was ridiculous. In 2022, I just did not give a fuck about my diet. Um, and 2023, you know, it's time to change that because like, I'm just gonna keep it real, like, I have nothing to fucking hide, nothing to be ashamed of, like, I got blood work done, and then my cholesterol was through the roof, and it's to the point where it's not even like, oh, I just want, like, a flat tummy and a huge BBL ass, it's like a, like, a health matter, and, like, you really have to take care of yourself and your health, because, like, your health is, like, the most important thing. Also, I think I put too much concealer, because I look fucking... <laughs> I look like I'm tweaking. Um, it's really a health issue, you know, and, like, exercise. And my doctor was like, yeah, like, you need to start exercising, like... And it's not even, like, you know, just so you can have abs. It's, like, you need to keep your body moving and mobility is so important and, like, to keep your blood pumping. So it's not so much for aesthetics. It's more for, like, my overall health. Um, so that's why I feel like I have such a positive view on like this diet and this lifestyle change and this exercise because I'm not doing it for a toxic goal of like looking like x person or having this number on my scale I feel like that's really dangerous and toxic and that's why people probably um fail and they hate diets and exercise because they have like really unrealistic expectations you know um and then the, that's why people like stop and like flop but, you know, with this new journey of mine, I'm not doing it for, um, to have, like, this body. I'm doing it, you know, just for my overall health. And I feel like as long as I'm consistent with my diet, my exercise, and eventually, like, my dream body will follow, you know? And I think I have good intentions with, um, my new eating habits and my new exercise. So that's why, like, I'm not scared, um... I look crazy. <laughs> That's why I'm not, like, scared or pressured by it. Um, and I can make a separate video of, like, what I've been eating. If you guys want to see, definitely let me know. Um, let me go look in the mirror, because I feel like I look fucking crazy. So, yeah, I can talk about more of, like, my health journey later. Next topic. Um, let's talk about post-graduation pressure. So, I'm graduating college in May of this year. That's literally, like, four months away. Um, I literally did not even feel college. It felt like a joke. Well, obviously two years went into the pandemic, so I feel like college literally flew by. Like, it's actually crazy. Um, I'm gonna go in with my milk stick and work. You guys already know the drill. This is like, this is bomb. Full apple on the cheek. Go up. Can't really see what I'm doing on this viewfinder, so I might be editing this looking like, damn. There's a lot of stress and pressure. Um going on like in my head right now and just in my life because like there's just there's a lot of like expectations like and a lot of dreams and goals and then there's like reality it's hitting and then it's like oh shit like people I'm going to school with are like getting job offers and like they have jobs right after graduation and I'm not even looking for jobs because I don't want to work in finance <sighs> and then it's like I want to be an influencer full-time so it's like I have to really be consistent and like you know take it fucking seriously because the clock is kind of ticking but also like I can't put myself in a clock because I'm gonna be 22 years old tomorrow and like I'm so fucking young and people completely change their lives around at like 30 35 40 so like I have time um I just like to you know I just like to overthink I just like to, yeah, I really just like to overthink and just really stress myself out. When I know everything is going to work out, I'm still just, like, annoying. But, yeah, I, I just feel like, I don't know, there's so many different paths I can take. Like, I love cosmetic marketing. I love being a makeup artist. I love working with people. I love influencing, making content, running social media, doing makeup, 
I don't know, there's just so many different paths I can take, and it's kind of like a curse and a blessing, because it's like, yeah, you have so many different interests and so many different talents and skills, which is amazing, but then it's like, okay, now choose one, or like, f choose a couple of that, and then work in that realm, or work in that industry, which is, um, I really just picked my nose, but whatever. Um, so it's kind of, it's pressuring. And then it's like, you know, I have these people in my life, I'm not going to say who, that are like, mm, once you graduate, like, you better go get a master's. And I'm like, what? Like, I just spent, like, 22 years in the fucking education system and you can't even let me rock, like, for a second. Like, what if I don't want a master's? Or, like, I really don't want a master's because I feel like I'm just wasting my fucking time. Like, I don't, um... I don't even want to work in finance realistically, but a lot of people don't know that. Like, I really just lie to people that, like, oh, yeah, like, I can't wait to, like, be a finance bro and, like, work in finance. But, like, reality, like, that's not my dream or my passion whatsoever. So people are like, get that, get that master's. And I'm just like, uh -huh. <laughs> like, you really thought. So then it's like, if I don't want to get my master's, it's like, well, the second I graduate, it's like, I need a job. Like, I need Okay, sorry, my camera died. Um, like, realistically, like, I need money, I need income, you know, to support myself, invest, and also, like, support, like, my influencing journey. Like, you know, the products I review and, like, shit like that. Like, that doesn't pay for itself, like, all this content that I make. And obviously, you just need money in general. Like, like duh, that's, that's just a given. Like, we all just need money. So then it's like, okay, should I... But the thing is, like, I don't know, like, see, you, like, I, I literally, like, get flustered and stress myself out just even talking about it and thinking about it. Because, like, there's so many different paths. Like, okay, should I get a job in cosmetic marketing? And then while I'm doing that, influence on the side and still be a freelance makeup artist. And it sounds like a lot of work, but, like, I know people that do it. Like, I know people personally that have a full-time job, like an office job, and then they're like a freelance makeup artist on the side. So I can easily have like a cosmetic marketing job and then do influencing on the side until my influencing takes off. It's a very doable, like if you want it, you can do it. And especially like I can easily get like a virtual job. Like I think that would be, you know, very ideal for me. But you know, if you're like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? You're not alone because we're all in the same boat. Like I know people personally, also this is the Dior lip glow. Um, my bougie cousin hated it, so that's good news for me. Um, and this is in 012 Rosewood. It literally just gives, it's like my lip color, so it's cute. I love, mm, I love the formula. It's like kind of minty. And I know people, like family members, that like have the dream job, or like they have a good job, have a good income, and then it's like still not enough, you know, like you're still searching, you still want more out of life, you're not happy with the job. So, you know, I feel like we all have these certain life expectations that like once we reach a goal or once we get a job, once we buy the house, once we buy the car, once we meet the perfect person, once we pop a kid out, like life, like the meaning of life, you know, will just appear and like everybody will just have the right answer. But the thing is like, this is the Flower CBD Gloss, which is really good. Um, but the thing is, we're always going to be wanting more. We're always going to be looking. We're always going to be chasing. And we'll always have problems. There's not a certain job, car, salary, person that will just eliminate all your problems and just make you make you happy. Like, like you'll always have something to complain about. You'll always want a new dream, a new goal. Um... So yeah, don't think like having, like achieving this one thing or this number amount of things will just make you happy for the rest of your life. Like that's not true. It's not realistic. So yeah, just have a lot of like pressuring, I have a lot of pressure, but then there's also like that, you know, just keep going. Everything will work itself out. So it's like me like trying to fucking rewire my brain and like doing these affirmations and I'm just like, yeah, it'll all work out. It'll all work out. It'll all work out. But then also like subconsciously, I'm like, you know, this shit actually all better work out because it's almost February and I'm gonna be in a cap and gown in four months. And then from there, it's like, what now? But you know, and then it's like,
So it's like I have two, there's two parts of my brain, like this constant internal conflict where it's like, or it's like everything will work out, you know, you'll be fine, you're talented, um, you're funny, you have a good resume, you know, you're just 22, life will work itself out, you're young, don't worry. So I have like that woke part of my brain that's like, you'll be fine. And then there's that other part of my brain that's like a, okay, but like, we kind of need to be real and realistic and like, I can't just like, fucking journal all day and like expect a paycheck and then there's a third part of my brain that's telling the fucking that realistic side like no like but manifesting getting your dream job reaching your goals is realistic so stop thinking like that so there's like three people in my brain that are just like fighting constantly it's like the woke you'll be fine don't worry it'll all work out and then it's like the girl let's be real and then it's like the well, the first person is being real, so don't think negatively because then your manifestations is not going to work. So it's like this fucking trifecta of just like bullshit. And it's like my brain is just like picture like a fucking hamster. There's like three hamsters running and like competing. And th that's what's in my brain right now. So yeah, um, I think I need to set my under eye. Let me go look in a mirror. Um, yeah, so basically... Them three hamsters are just fighting for attention right now and then cut to me like what the fuck do I, what's the right way to think? And then there's a fourth hamster like, well, there's no right way to think. Like, just, you know, look forward. So it's a constant battle, a constant fucking struggle, an internal struggle. Okay, so yeah, that's basically what's going on in my head. We can also talk about just like goals for this year and like kind of like what I've been manifesting. Um... And manifesting, you know, being being a full-time influencer um, and, like, what comes with that. And also, like, you know, um, I've been planning, like, realistically, like, with school coming and whatnot, the only thing that's going to work out for me is, like, if I batch content. Like, just take a whole day where I make seven reels, seven TikToks, and, like, one YouTube video a week. That's my goal, which sounds like a lot, but, like... I only have four classes this semester, so, and I don't have a job, so realistically, I can do that. Like, if I'm really hungry for this shit, as much as I say I am, then, like, we gotta really just go for it, because I can make it happen. Like, if I just have one day, like, where I just batch everything and edit everything and then just fucking, then throughout the week just post, like, that's totally doable. So, yeah, like, that's my goal for this year. Um... And also, I've just been manifesting, like, journaling. I've been doing a lot of affirmations. If you want to, like, the affirmations I've been doing are literally the ones from TikTok. Wait, let me get another makeup product. The affirmation, the affirmations I've been doing are from TikTok, duh. Um, which are basically, like, well, I've, I've been doing one for months where it's, like, I don't chase, I attract, like, what belongs to me will simply find me. Um, I've been doing that one. I've also been doing, um, I'm... Oh, I'm so lucky everything works out for me, which is like the one everybody has been doing. I'm gonna I want a little more blush, so I'm gonna go in with rare and this is in truth. Th I think this is a dupe for the say blush in chili. Um and a little goes a long way. Like the rare blushes are no fucking joke. No wonder they're so popular. Um so yeah, I'm so lucky everything works out for me. That's one. That's the one I've been doing. I've also been doing like I'm a money magnet where like I don't chase money, like money chases me. Or, like, there was one that was, like, I just I just get paid to exist, like, money. Just, like, the ones about money and stuff like that. And, yeah. Oh, shit. Like, on camera, it looks crazy, but then in real life, it looks really cute. So, don't worry. Um, That's what this compact is for. Yeah. Like, look how cute. And you use the littlest bit. And I thought this was ugly because it looks a little, like, burgundy-y. But then once you blend it out, it's, like, the perfect, like, oh, I'm blushing. What the fuck was I talking about? See, like... Oh, affirmations. Just, like, stuff like that that, like, gets me through the day. Or, like, when something good happens, like, I'll be like, oh, I'm so lucky everything works out for me, you know, like, la 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 la. This is the makeup by Mario, the Master Secret Glow. I have a love-hate relationship with this. Like, sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. Um, yeah. And I'm just gonna put that over the blush, just so I look a little sweaty and I look a little wet. See? You see that? Look how pretty that is. So I've been doing a lot of affirmations. I've been journaling. I have printed out shit from my mood board like months ago. I have I made a TikTok about it. And I still haven't hung it up, which I'm going to do that today. 
Um, basically, it was just like little like things I want in life. I put that. I put this on my. I love a glossy eyelid. Um, I basically just love it to look like I just ran a marathon. Just that constant internal battle of like um, your dreams and goals are realistic, and then the other side that's like BFFR. Like, let's be so for real. And everybody on TikTok's like, yeah, like being delusional is good. Like, just be delusional. And I'm like, okay, like, I guess I'm gonna be delusional now. So, this is Milani Make It Last. I just drenched my face in this. Um, I'm always here to talk, so please subscribe, like this video, and please comment um, what types of videos you would like to see from me, and also like what topics you would like me to talk about. Um, because I love talking. Um, so, yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.